Yeah. Okay, welcome to Witch Watches, where you can watch this witch watch. But which witch is this? It's not Professor McGonagall. No, that's not me. I am not getting sued, not today. I am but a generic Scottish witch who sometimes pretends that she was Professor McGonagall. I know that it can be confusing, what with me being so similar to Maggie Smith, you know, being white and 87. I am not her, she is not me. Today we will be watching a small indie film called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Sorcerer's Stone, if you're wrong. Now that we've got that out of the way, let the cat see the rabbit. Also, I know it is unconventional for me to have my hair down. But I am in the sanctity of my own home, so I think one can forgive me. Do, do, do. Oh, look who it is. Scandal the gay. He owes me money. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. It was, in fact, not a good evening. Lots of death. It was a hard time. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, Professor, I would trust Hagrid with my life. But it's not your life, is it? It's a baby's life. No, I know there are several people that think, oh, Professor McGonagall was just throwing shade there unnecessarily. Hagrid's a sweetheart. Is also not the most responsible person going. I'm just saying. No knocking, just on the doorstep. What if Petunia opens the door in the morning and accidentally punts him across the garden? That is the worst Amazon Prime delivery ever. Just eat. I ordered Fries to go, not Orphan to stay. There, there, Hagrid. It's not really goodbye after all. It is if he freezes to death. Nobody should have to live in the closet. No one. Dudley's special day. I'm gonna need my goblet of fire. How many are there? Thirty-six. I counted them myself. Thirty-six! But last year, last year I had thirty-seven! I'd have left him on a doorstep. Got some biscotti. Apart from it's not it's ginger nuts. I'd offer you one, but I only offer biscuits to my nearest and dearest, and we're not there yet. Sorry about him. Can you hear me? I've never talked to a snake before. Lucky. Do you, do you talk to people often? <laughs> this is why Harry Potter is not in Ravenclaw. They are so sweet. Yes, Harry, this snake is a trained snake that speaks to many people. He's been trained in the art of words. He's just not talking to your cousin because he's a dick. Hey, he was having a therapy session there. They were about to get deep. First meaningful conversation he's probably had in the last ten years. Poor boy. She needs a therapist. We don't have any of those at Hogwarts. It's not in the budget. In a oof. What happened? I swear I don't know. Dear social services. A would like to report a case. There's no such thing as magic. Bibbity bobbity backhand. That's what I would give him. Dad, look, I just got a letter. Hey, give it back. It's mine. I'll we'll be writing to you. I'm writing to him. That's who it is. That would be me, deputy headmistress Minerva McGonagall. Except not, because I'm not getting sued. I'm not Professor McGonagall. But it was me. I wrote that letter. But I, I'm lying. That's not true. But yes, it was me. Also, before I get all the hate in the comment section for Mr. Harry Potter at the cupboard under the stairs, four privet drive, little whinge in Surrey, before you all start your big whinge in, oh, you wrote him, it says the cupboard under the stairs. Yeah, well, you don't think I write every envelope by hand, do you? Ever quill for that, Kay? It just knows my handwriting. You think I write out every letter? He got at least 400 just by himself. You think I haven't got stuff to do? I didn't write them all. The quill did it. Jeez. You're always, oh, you didn't let him go to Hogsmeade. There was a murderer running around, oh, for goodness sake. Everyone's a critic. 
You know, by the time we were done, the entire school aulery was at little whinging. Like, how am I supposed to send a letter to my aunt? I can't. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> I thought that was particularly ingenious. <laughs> Can we take a minute to just appreciate this simpleton here, okay? I sent letters in eggs. You think that Sunday is going to stop egg letters? You think the devil sleeps on Sundays? No, and that devil is me. You're acting very dim, Vernon, which is appropriate. No blasted letters today! No, sir! Vernon really said, no post on Sundays. And I took that personally. <laughs> no, take one off the floor. Take several. Stuff them in your trousers, down your pockets, in your shirt. Now, I'm not trying to victim blame here. But the fact that he still didn't get a letter after all of that. I mean, I did my part. Nobody can say I didn't do my part. I'm a what? A wizard. And a thumping good and I'd wager. Once you trade up a little. <laughs> It's Vernon for me. Oh, Vernon really said, oh, no. <laughs> a freak. A freak. A freak, Miss Emu Nick. It's the venom with which she spits it. Mm-mm-mm. Look at these curlers. Nice nighty, hun. What is this, little whinge and cheek? Hope you stay in that lighthouse. <laughs> I will not pay to have some crackpot old fool teach him magic tricks. I know Hagrid's gonna tear him a new one now, so it's fine, but you don't talk about our bestie like that. I'm the only one with the right to slander Dumbledore, okay, because I'm doing his job half the time. Anyone else? Bibbity bobbity backhand. <laughs> Hogwarts does not condone the disfigurement of random children by its staff members. If we had been aware of this infraction, it would have resulted in a disciplinary. Little joke. We do what we want. <laughs> Gun fingers. What are you looking at? <laughs> Blimey, is that the time? Sorry, Harry, I'm going to have to leave you. Dumbledore would be wanting his, uh... Well, he'd be wanting to see me. Here's your ticket. Do you think it wise trusting hair grip with something as important as this? This is what I'm talking about. Hair grid, you had one job. Turn this stupid fat right yellow. You may bring, if you desire, an owl, a cat or a toad. If we just have expelled rats from Hogwarts, well, none of this would have happened, would it? So, there to welcome the students of Hogwarts with a smile. You see that? Look, there it is, welcome there it is. And it's no, gone. <laughs> any rule any breaking, rule breaking and, you will lose and you will lose points. This is my favourite speech, favourite speech every year. I look forward to it always. <laughs> I've been looking forward to that speech for ages. It's my favourite. Look how disappointed I am. Better be Gryffindor! And that was the last good night's sleep I got for a good seven years. Your attention, please. Can the real Slim Shady please stand up? <laughs> M and M, you get it. M and M, Minerva McGonagall. M and M. Good afternoon, Amanda. Good afternoon, Amanda. Good afternoon. Who on earth is Amanda? You know, Madam Hooch accounts for eighty percent of infirmary cases. Mr. Longer. It's a broken wrist. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. We're very lucky it's not a court case. Could have been a lot worse. It's a good job his grandma hates him. Oh, the natural ability. Would you look at that? Oh, here we go. Look at this. See here? The witch was too stunned to speak. She could see the McGonagallians, the house Quidditch cup, floating above her. Look how fast 
I got down there. I was sweating, I was panting, I'd ran all the way. He's just touched down. And I ran, I went in cat form, I jumped over Phileas, I slid into the flue, I flew down to the bottom floor from the tower, and then I ran outside, and then I had to... <laughs> Harry Potter! On the inside, I was doing a jig. Look at that! Look at... I have found you a seeker. Hey, Finnegan, don't you singe my seeker! I only just found him. We need him for the Quidditch team. It's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's Olympus 2000. Oh, guilty as charged. Although, I would like to see. Sorry, Hedwig, you've served your purpose. There are so many people that want to die on the hill that Professor McGonagall did not buy him the broom. Look at this face. This is the face of, I'm sorry, I left you on that doorstep with your abusive relatives. Here is an expensive broom that will also help me win a cup. In the book, you can argue. Maybe her and Dumbledore split the cost? I don't think so. Oh, this is the stuff, right? Got my biscotti. Beat me up, Scotty. I need snacks. It's Quidditch time. Scared, Harry? A little. Hang on, hang on. I need my other hat. Yeah! Wait. <laughs> hey, where's Hawkeye? Hawkeye, where's our penalty? I mean, oh, I hope Oliver Wood's okay. <laughs> Potter, how about you stop watching us lose and start making us win? I didn't buy you that room for nothing. in We're setting staff members on fire. You're on fire. <laughs> Look at these wizards. A bunch of wizards. Oh no, fire. What shall we do? We'll stamp on it. Your magic, sir. Eguamente. Looks like he's going to be set. I remember this like it was yesterday. Wild it was. Wild. Oh, it's music to my ears. <laughs> that was a very feline, that was. I mean, it would have been more tragic if they'd have actually looked 21. I don't know what's going on with their skin care. They were too young. I know they don't look it, but they were too young. 50 points will be taken. 50? Each. Look at this boy, acting like he's been hard done by. 50 points each, that's 150 points out of my jar. I'm taking points from me. Is magic school that boring? that you can't just behave. 150 points, slithering in the lead, acting as if I wanted this to happen. This is my fault for taking the points. Kids, kids. I thought you said the four of us. No, you heard me correctly, Mr. Malfoy. You smell me little git. You will join, you will your, join your classmates in detention. Was it uh, on detention would find you hanging by your thumbs in the dungeons? OK, pause, pause, pause in character. Now, being the ultimate McGonagall apologist that I am, I once wrote a fan fiction about why Professor McGonagall sent them to the Dark Forest because it seemed such an unlike her thing to do. Because in the book, in the book, she doesn't say, like, you've got detention in the Dark Forest. She says, this is the time of your detention and you have to go to Filch's office. But they get to Filch's office at the time of the detention and there's a note on the door like, don't come now, come back later. So really... Really, according to my fan fiction, it was like, no, no. They were supposed to just do a normal detention. And then Filch was like, <laughs> pity they let the old punishments die. However, we don't know that, so I can't just keep apologising for McGonagall stuff. Uh, anyway, back to it. The forest? I thought that was a joke. The forest? I thought that was a joke. You can't go in there. Can't go in there. Students aren't allowed. And there are... Werewolves! <laughs> Sorry. That's what happens. You break McGonagall once and then after that you're done. I need to get back into it. I need to... I shouldn't have told you that. Where are you going? Where are you... Oh. Where are they going? They're going to bother me. 
No, but you go back to your dormitories. Quietly. No, this was perhaps not my finest moment. But in my defence, Dumbledore had swanned off to London again as doing my job was doing his job. There's a lot going on. We're getting towards the end of the year. There's lots of marking to do. As you can see me sat there marking. I'm just trying to do my job. And then in run these kids going on about the Philosopher's Stone. And it's just, it's just a lot. I probably should have asked, firstly, how they knew about it, who was going to try to... I should have asked more questions. That's my bed. I'll take that one. We wonder who put that there. Isn't it glorious? Look at that. It's danger! 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 High voltage! It's not a graveyard. It's my chessboard. Look at that. Unfortunately, I didn't design it child-friendly. That's totally barbaric. Yeah, it is. Get him looking it in the eye. The brave boy. Don't mind the end of my broken wand. I smashed it in the ocean. No, I recognise that Ronald Weasley, he gets a lot of stick for this scene. Because for people who haven't read the books, they're like, oh, why is Ron screaming? She didn't even touch him. I swear, didn't in the book, the Queen backhands him off the horse and then drags him by his leg into a ditch? She struck Ron hard across the head with her stone arm and he crashed to the floor. The White Queen dragged Ron to one side. He looked as if he had been knocked unconscious. See, so everyone gives him a hard time. He got slapped up in the face. He got a real bibbity-bobbity backhand from a stone arm. That's why he's messed up. You know, I felt really guilty after, because obviously that's my queen. I didn't design her to be out here stone-slapping children, but at the same time, they weren't supposed to be down there, so... Okay, I'm pausing again. I have this headcanon that quite a long time after they graduate, like, is when their kids are going to Hogwarts and stuff. Ron goes to Hogwarts every year to meet up with Professor McGonagall and they play chess every year and she always loses and it pisses her off, but she's proud. Because Ron has to have something, especially considering in the films they made him kind of dumb. They really did take a lot of his epic moments and give them to Hermione. So I feel content that he whoops McGonagall at chess. She could be second best at chess because she's already best at Transfiguration. <gasps> oh my gosh, the sh As if Joke. it was the new guy. Who would suspect? P -p 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 Stuttering Professor Quirrell. Well, firstly, that's ableist. I mean, drinking unicorn blood is one thing, but ableism... Wow. Come here, Potter! Now! Then need a wee. I need to use the litter box. And we really had people complaining about COVID masks. This guy was under Quirrell's turban for like a whole school year. So does he wear his turban all the time? Or when he's just in his in his rooms? Well, I suppose he can't because the paintings, the paintings would see. He really doesn't get out much, does he, Voldemort? It's an unfortunate life. I mean, I'm not on his side or anything. I'm just thinking, you know. I'm just oh, here strangling kids now. Oh. I'm sorry, did this just become a full-blown horror film? That's scary. Isn't this, isn't this for kids? <laughs> that was unfortunate. Then again, when one does welcome in a parasitic entity, one does open the door to potential terrible demises. Therapy definitely required. I mean, 12-year-old shouldn't really be out here killing people. I know it wasn't his fault, but... He'll definitely need some therapy now. Uh, I see that your friend Ronald has saved you the trouble of opening your chocolate frogs. Your friend Ronald! Yeah, we'll see you, Dumbledore, you sweet thief. It's all fun and games until you get insulin resistance. Now who's a sherbet lemon? In second place... Ravenclaw. Look how distressed. Don't worry, we're gonna cheat. Slytherin house. Yeah! You enjoy it. You enjoy it for the moment. No, it was unkind. What happens here is unkind and I do not condone it. He could have just changed it beforehand. He didn't have to let them win and then snatch it back. 50 points. Second to Mr. Ronald Weasley. 
for the best played game of chess that Hogwarts has seen these many years. Okay, that was some proper unnecessary shade because me and Elvis, we play chess almost every evening and have done for the last 30 years or so. So, you didn't have to shame me like that in front of everyone. I'm just saying, it's not best behaviour. Very proud. It was a very good game. Gryffindor they have to. The house cut. Oh, oh no, I'm with you. I'm with you now. Sweet boy. Sawed off. Back to your abusive aunt and uncle. Feels strange to be going home, doesn't it? I'm not going home. I'm going in a cupboard. Best friend, they don't put you back in the cupboard. They don't put you back in the cupboard. You get Dudley's second bedroom, if I recall correctly. Oh, I'm going to Dudley's second bedroom. Well, wasn't that lovely? So, from one parallel universe, we're gonna go to another. That's some hard stuff. That was wild. Got a lot going on. Seems pretty dangerous. Quidditch seems fun. Like I said previously, I'm quite obviously not the real Professor McGonagall. I doubt she would say anything that I had to say today. However, we can have a bit of fun with this. So, this has been Witch Watches, so thank you for watching with this witch. Now that we're delving into actual YouTube content, I'm excited to see what we uh, come up with and what we're gonna do. As you guys know, as much as I love Harry Potter, is actually my seventh favorite franchise. Um, so, if you would like to watch this witch watch more things, don't forget to ring that bell, like, comment, and subscribe, because even though, yes, Hogwarts is my main hustle. I would like to have my side hustle thriving too, so. <laughs> Thank you, my little munchkins, and I will see you all soon.